There's nothing around us but endless space, Eppa. That's why they call it the open skies. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. What was it? It's some kind of flying creature. They're huge. Is it a bird? A plane? No, it's a flamingo. They're all over us. Emergency dodge, Pipship. We're going down. System check, Pipship. Looks like we're okay, Eppa. That was close. You said they were birds called flam... flamingo. Flamingos. Look how many there are on the lake. Let's get our feet onto solid ground. What do you think, Ed? Let me just grab my binoculars. I see something. Something pink and long and... A flamingo leg? That's it. There are six different species of flamingo in the world. This one is the smallest of all the species. They look pretty big to me. They have shorter legs than the other species. You can recognise them by their faint pink feathers and deep crimson legs. Hola! <laughs> look at those knobbly knees. And you think I have funny legs. <laughs> those aren't his knees, Ed. Those are his ankles. Strange place for ankles to be. They need the long legs to keep their bodies out of the lake water. I think it's time for me to get into the lake. You're going to get wet, Ed. An adventurer has got to do what an adventurer has got to do. Don't come crying to me with your soggy feet. Oh, dear, the things I do for research. What's he doing, Eppa? He's eating. They bend over and place their beak upside down in the water. The tongue pushes in and out to suck in the salty water and mud. They eat mud and salty water? Yuck! No, they eat microscopic bacteria found in the mud and water. Their beaks act like a very special filter that takes out the algae floating in the water. It must taste awful. Flamingos have very little sense of taste or smell. So they don't swallow the mud and water? Only the tiny algae and bacteria inside it. Exactly. Oh, dear. I think we're in the way again. Up, up and away they go. Yeehaw! What are these mud mountains, Eppa? The flamingo builds a mud nest to protect its egg from flooding and to keep it cool. Only one egg? She lays one egg and then the mother and father take turns incubating it for about a month. And then it hatches? Yes. The chick breaks open the shell and is looked after by its parents for a couple of months. Eppa, look! What on earth are they doing? Flamingos rest standing on one leg. Don't they fall over? <laughs> no, they've got really good balance, but they do sway a little in the wind. What is that over there? While resting, flamingos face into the wind. This stops wind and rain from penetrating their feathers. It's an unhatched egg. I'd better rescue it and move it back with the other egg. Come on, little guy. I'll take you back to Mummy. If only I could get a good grip. Flamingos are social birds and like to live in groups of up to tens of thousands. Ed, wh what are you doing? What's that egg doing out here? I found it. Doesn't it need to be in the wet mud to regulate its temperature? Ed? Yes, I mean, no. Oh, aliens! We need to take it to its mother or the chick won't hatch. Ed, you must put it back immediately. What? Why? You must never interfere with nature, Ed. I know, but... No but, Ed. We're here to learn. Now put it back. You could upset the whole balance of nature by doing that. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Eppa. I feel so bad. It's OK. Just go and put it back. Oh, no! Watch that egg, Ed! Did you just call me an egghead? <laughs> no! Ed, don't let it get away from you! I'm trying! Watch that rock! Watch what? Oh, whoa! Oh, Ed! Eppa, I'm so very sorry about moving that egg. I feel terrible. Do you think it'll be OK? It's OK, Ed. It'll be fine. Nature has its way. Oh, look over there! A pink flamingo! Pink? Pink? But all these flamingos are white and grey. 
All flamingos are pinkhead. These are young adults, so they haven't grown into their bright pink coloration yet. So you can tell the age of a flamingo by its pinkness? I suppose you could say that. But why are they pink? I don't know of many pink animals. It comes from their diet. It's the algae they eat. If they don't eat the correct food, they lose their coloration. Look at the flamingos now in the setting sun. They all look more pink. So pretty and pink in the gentle sunset. Girls. I think it's time to hit the skies again. Sure. It's been a long day. Got all your things together? Sure. My camera's right here. Camera! Eppa, I didn't get my photo. Oh, dear. I'll be right back. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it! The perfect shot is always worth waiting for. Just like the perfect sunset. Up, up and away to find more animals! <laughs> Click on the videos above to see more amazing animals. And be sure to subscribe.